Hello and welcome to Shredder Zoo. Today we're here taking a look at a member of the Intelligent family, sometimes known as Hell Pigs, although as we shall see this is probably a fairly inaccurate name. This is the Deodon. It was found in North America between 29 and 19 million years ago during the late Oligocene and early Miocene epochs. It is the largest Intelligent known, and for an Intelligent it was huge. It stood 1.8 meters tall at the shoulder and 3.6 meters long. Known adult individuals had skulls about 90 centimeters long. Like other intelligents, its limbs were long and slender, with the bones of the foreleg fused together and with only two toes on each foot. It also had a relatively lightly constructed neck for the size of its head, whose weight was mostly supported by muscles and tendons attached to the tall spines of the thoracic vertebrae, similar to those of modern day bison and white rhinoceros. With an appearance similar to that of a warthog and with a name like Hellpig, it's easy to see why people assume that the Intelligents are ancestors to pigs. But recent studies have concluded that they are actually closely related to hippos and whales and dolphins, and are not related to pigs at all. Its physical similarities to pigs and boars is assumed to be due to convergent evolution, a phenomenon where two groups of animals evolve similar characteristics to cope with similar survival requirements. Daedon and other Intelligents have often been thought of as herbivores, due to their pig-like appearance. But they were actually omnivores, and some scientists have gone even further and suggested they were solely carnivores. Looking at the teeth, the first clue that Intelligents were not dedicated herbivores comes from the types of teeth found in the Daedon's mouth. It had all the types of mammalian teeth, incisors, canines, premolars and molars. Strictly herbivorous mammals usually have a predominance of just incisors at the front and molars at the back, usually with a gap in between where the canines and premolars would normally be, that's called the diastema. Additionally, the incisors that the intelligents have do not form a single shearing edge for cropping off plants, and instead angle slightly forwards rather than just down. This would actually allow the incisors to easily project past the canines and physically grip a chunk of meat or a bone on the carcass so that it could be pulled free. Also, intelligents have wide cheekbones with attachments for powerful muscles. The sheer bite force offered by this arrangement would simply be beyond that necessary for a herbivorous animal. But the most compelling evidence for meat-eating behaviour comes from the remains of herbivorous mammals of the era, such as early rhinos and camels, and even a femur belonging to a chalicothere, that had tooth marks preserved on their bones, and these tooth marks match very closely to those of Daodon and other intelligents. Some of the camel remains found with intelligent tooth marks on them were bitten in half and stored in a cache, presumably for eating later. But because of the different types of tooth, it is likely that Daedon also fed on vegetation, like roots and tubers. While easily capable of killing an equally sized or smaller animal, popular theories have suggested that Intelligents would track other predators just to steal their kills. Evidence of which come from a zigzagged Intelligent track that may have been left by an earlier relative of Daedon, called Archaeotherium. Further support for the scavenger theory comes from the arrangement of the nostrils, which in Daodon seem to have faced out to the sides rather than directly forwards. This would allow for the development of a directional sense of smell, since depending on which direction the head was facing in relation to the wind, one nostril would pick up a scent a fraction of a second before the other, similar to how when you hear a sound you might hear it in one ear before the other, telling you which way to turn to see what it was. Daedon might have been able to keep on tracking in a zigzag pattern until the point that the strength of the smell was equal in both nostrils, so that it would then know to go just straight ahead. Well that's all I have for you this week and as always I hope you've enjoyed the video and you've learned something new. If you did please let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. I hope to see you next time for more videos like this one here at Shredder Zoo. Goodbye.